Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personal. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It is no one's truth but yours. It's a wild card. Look at us! Let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 48, NASDAQ down 9, S&P's down 3, gold contract down $13.40, trading at 1,013 an ounce. Silver down 18 cents at $18.58 an ounce. Platinum off 21 bucks at 1,056 an ounce. Copper flat at 207 a pound. Light sweet crude off 58 cents, trading at $46.40 a barrel. Bonds, the 10 year note down two ticks, 131.28. 30 year bond off 12 ticks, 173.23. King dollar, King dollar up 492 ticks, trading at 96. The euro is at 111. And the yen is at 102.99 on its way to probably 105. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wonder what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we have a sideways market. We went down 36 cents in the SPY, which is nothing. Um, we're at $218. Uh, last Friday... What do we do? We get down to 216.25. You did 122 million. Yesterday, you go up with 70 million. Today, we go sideways with 54 million. But check this out. This is pretty intense. So, you take a look at the SPY. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials also sideways move. But guess what, folks? As we come into the close, well, let's do the NDX 100 first. I will go into the, I'm going to go into the, Q's first. I'll come back to the S&P's. So uh, the Q's, the Q's have been basically giving us the information that it wants to go south. We have two highs that did 11 million shares. We came down off of those highs the first day after, on the 24th of August. We came down with 17 million after making a high with 11. Last Friday, you get to a lower low with the 23. Yesterday, you go high with 11. Tried to get too high. We did 18 million on the way down today. So that, that's building cause to get into lower price. And the Qs, as the S&P, haven't moved. Well, the S&P hasn't moved. It's been moving sideways since July 14th. The Qs have been moving sideways since the 5th of August. That being said, check this out. So the NASDAQ composite and the NDX was showing that it, it's, you're pushing volume out as you're going down. That's saying that folks are getting out as fast as they can, meaning operators. What you had inside the Dow Industrials today is that someone unloaded right at the end of the day because we did 749 million versus 659. And what we had had coming right into three minutes of is that we had... It was going to be one of the lightest volume days. Bottom line, MVOL. What you're going to see is that yesterday was the lightest volume day of the year, which is 659 million. We did 754 million today. What is that saying? That's saying that number one, you have distribution at highs. Number two, they're getting out and they're pushing, pushing, pushing. And that was a really sweet indication, man, that this market wants to go south. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract out here. We traded to a price point. We closed out at 13, 1350, down $13.50. You did 149,000 contracts, and that's light volume, by the way. Um, the contract, the, the gold, the physical gold and physical silver, folks, bottom line, are not in that bad of shape. Um, I suspect physical gold does want to get down to 1259. The reason being is that we did break the swing point today, the swing point of 13, 1850. What does that set up? That sets up going right back to where we broke topside from on the 24th of June, which is the uh, 1259. If we go over and we take a look at the silver contract, what you're going to see inside the silver contract 
is that silver was down 18 cents, 14,000 contracts, which is nothing, by the way. Silver, let me make sure that we just didn't change here. One second. Okay, no, 53,000 contracts. Um, silver. Oh, this is a problem. Okay, so silver's in tough shape, too. So silver, so we did 53,000 contracts, and you know what you're doing? It's an ABC down. So silver's going into its B point, which is 1855. Silver's going to 18 bucks. Your A point on this is uh, 2062, conservatively. Your B point, is that 2062? Yeah, 2062. Your B point is 1855. It's almost two bucks, right? It's a buck eighty-five. Your C point is nineteen fourteen, eighteen fourteen, seventeen fourteen. Yeah, hey man, this thing's going down to eighteen bucks, and what is game here more than likely is seventeen twenty-five. That's how silver's set up right now. You had a ex big expansion of volume as you're going into that lower number. Um, bonds. What do we have with the bond market? We have with the bond market is this. The 10-year note couldn't move today, uh, sideways move. We're trading at uh, 131.28. What I expect you're going to see, uh, again, down to the benchmark, the 24th of June, which is the 130.21 area. We take a look at the 30-year, same type of setup. That gets you down to the uh, 165 area. If you look at the XAU and the HUI, what we had out here today, XAU is down $5. You're at 91.84. That looks like it wants to run down to this 82 area and the gold bugs index that was down 13 bucks here at 266 that looks like it wants to run into the 205 area now in both cases you know we'll see how they handle those low and low areas we'll have the volume from the XAU the HUI tomorrow or uh, tonight actually at 8 o'clock but I won't be on until 8 o'clock uh, until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning um, what you have those moves that is approximately a 50% retracement of the move that we had up from the January time frame of last year to June. King dollar. What do we have with King dollar? The way King dollar is trading right now, folks, is that King dollar was up 500 ticks, which is a half a penny. penny. You're at $96. Um, King dollar is going after its higher swing point that was generated out here on the 25th of July. That number is uh, 97.62. That's going to be, that's not, that's not a long way we're for, from, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. This is CFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials closed down 48. NASDAQ off 9.5. S&P's off 3.5. We're going to be right back.